The last two years were very difficult in my life. I met on the 24th of November 2007, Marcel, and he was sent into my life for an assistant position. I mean assisting, I mean really in, not like official, like declaration. Just, he was sent by the universe to assist me in certain things I could not do anymore by myself. And as I said earlier, everything is in flow. We have to trust the universe to bring us always at the right time, the right people into the picture. And we are meant to embrace each other. We are meant to really be grateful for coming into the life of each other. And if people understand this, if they really understand their truth, they will be much more grateful when they are making their everyday life uh, fulfilled. Yesterday, for example, an old friend of mine called. I have not had contact with him in seven years or so. And he calls me out of the blue and says, Oh, I found you on Facebook. And uh, he's a music producer. It's a black man, maybe like, no, he should be 40 or so. He was in his 30s when I met him. And he said, Oh, I have this neighbor. Do you remember where my studio is? I'm still in the same studio. My neighbor, she is fascinated by you. She wants to meet you. Every time this happens to me, that someone tells me that someone is supposed to meet me, I believe that. I trust it. Not always it's really right because sometimes people want to share me with someone and hope that that person can embrace me like they do. It's not always the case because sometimes people are also narrow-minded. Many of us are. My hip-hop music speaks about it, of how narrow-minded people can be. I, everything I choose in my life yeah, is very creative. For example, whether I use earrings or whether I don't use earrings. Most of the time I don't use any earrings. Most of the time I don't have anything on my head. I just, I'm like this. For a long time in my life, I didn't wear any rings, nothing. Took everything off and I was like this. And people said to me, you don't wear a ring, you have such beautiful rings. No, because I said, I am, I'm the jewel. I'm the special being. I'm, I am the center of attention. Not all these things are, and when people say to me, oh, you have this big and expensive and interesting pearl. And then they say to me, it's very expensive. I tell them, yes, it is. Can I look at it? Can I put it on? No, why, why would you? I'm very clear about things. I make the people aware it's not about things. It's not about all these things. It's not about the... And I tell even the hip-hop artists, it's not about the bling-bling. I make up jokes and they listen to me. I say, oh, you are as fucked up as the white people. What is the difference? I mean, you are wanting your whatever car. It's funny. It's funny to me. And they listen and they laugh. They laugh not about me, they laugh about themselves. I make them laugh about themselves. Then they stop to be so uptight and stop to be in this fighting situation where I was, oh, don't mess with me. It's ridiculous. I tell them, and I make all these jokes on stage and tell them of how crazy it is. And some of the major hip hop artists have changed their style, their behavior towards certain people.